Okay, today we're gonna start another unit, AURTE002, Diagnose and Repair Light Vehicle Engine. For this unit, we're gonna spend two weeks. Okay, so today we focus on the theory. I think you guys already know about the basic component of our yeah. engine, right? The how did they work, the fundamental of the engine, right? Yeah. But today we need to go deep a little bit. And first of all, we need to refresh a bit the engine component. Okay, I need you to tell me what's this, okay? First of all, do you know what the carbon one? Yes. It's a rock carbon gas key. And there's a rock carbon gas key. And here, hey, cylinder head. Cylinder head. Hey, gas key. This is a very important part. Parts we're gonna talk about today. Okay, and as engine block. Yeah. In the button, we have the oil yeah. sum, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. On the right hand side, we have an intake manifold. Intake manifold. Manifold. Uh, yeah. the gas key. Yeah. On the left hand side, exhaust. Exhaust manifold. So, this is a typical inline four cylinder. You can see from everywhere, time, everywhere right? Four cylinder pretty much look like this one, very simple one. But in the real world, there's more component beside the engine. Can you cover up the uh, exhaust? Yes. Then you can put your hand in the hole. Yeah. 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 To help the uh, like to save that's the heat up. Yes. Heat part in the exhaust. Yeah. yeah. And uh, around the engine, you might see a lot of coolant hose. Yeah. Or vacuum hose. Yes. And electric wire and the sensor. All the sensors. sensors. Yeah. Fully fuel in, fuel injector line yeah. in the top of the near, near the inside the lock cover. Yes. Yeah. And of, also you have a distributor or coil or coil on plug. Yeah. And the inside you have a spark plug. But so now they are uh, giving us with the attach of the rock cover. Mm. The coil plug. Now they can give yes. the distributor. Some of car. Yes, some of car. Yeah, like hotel extra. Okay, this is pretty easy. I need to refresh a little bit, but yeah. now we can go inside the engine. Okay, it's quite difficult. Mm, yeah, it's a lot of parts inside here. This is a V-type engine. V-6, V-8, V-8, or V-8, right? Yeah, V-8, yeah. 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 similar. Okay, we start on the top. We have air intake. Can you see my mouse? Yes, sir. Okay, air intake. We go to throttle body. Throttle body. Throttle body control the air, the yeah. bound yeah. of air, right? And uh, it will go to intact manifold. Yes. Sir. Now we're going to have a intact. This is a how to say it, rocker cover. Yes. Sir. Inside rocker cover, we have intact valve. Intact valve. Right. This one and is this one. is intact valve. Yeah. And then we have spark plug. Yeah. It needs a spark. And we have a piston. Cam roll. Yeah. Got it. Yes. Sir. And in the end, we have crankshaft. Yeah. The top of this one is a cam shaft. Cam shaft related to the rock, uh, intake valve, yeah. rock, rock both, arm. Both of them. Yeah. And on the other side, also, we have an exhaust. Exhaust valve, exhaust manifold. Yeah. Both the sides. Yeah, on the both sides, because they, this, this is showing easy, in a simple way. One side they, they is showing the intake, one the other side is showing the exhaust. And also at the bottom we have oil oil, some oil pump inside of the engine yes, and pick up oil pick up and this is oil sum. Yes. On the side we have a starter. Starter motor. Right? Yes. In the end of the crankshaft we have five wheel. Right. Can converter. Yeah, torque converter. Torque converter, yeah. yeah. Sorry, torque converter. So a lot of components inside of the engine. So if the really something happen inside engine, I mean like damage, engine damage, internal damage, you will cost a lot for a customer. Also, if you want to repair it, you want to over engine, you will spend a lot of time. At least 40 hours or maybe sometimes you whole week, two weeks when you do that. Like sometimes a month because of the waiting for bars. Yes, and you have to test and it is a big job. So when we talk about technology and repair engine, we need to be very, very careful. And you need to, in the, 
in the real world, you you really think this engine has internal damage? You have to prove to your boss or customer because if they want to fix or they want to swap engine or engine overhaul, this is a big job. So, but because a lot of, like I say, design engine will have a lot of component like PCB, EGR yeah. valve, star motor, or some electro alternator, alternator, yeah. some control system. Some of them with they faulty, they will also have a similar system. If you think might be is an engine problem, like an engine overheat. Yeah. Engine overheat, we talked about last week already, yeah. right? The cooler will oh. overheat. But sometimes it's an internal leak, the head gas is full, head gas key. So the coolant drop go inside the combustion chamber, it over cause overheat. So but maybe you just sometimes just a stop a small step, it will also cause over engine overheat. So today we cannot spend our time to diagnose how do you how do you think about it? Okay, this is the inside engine the piston. At the top of the piston, we have piston ring and yes. the OBO ring. Yes. You got it? This one. But actually, piston ring does. Does? Yes. To see your uh, the cylinder. To see. The, the top one, you have a two piston ring, and yes. the bottom one is OBO ring. Oh, yes. So, top, In, the top one, yes. you see your, the gas. Flow by gas, too. Yeah, you have some flow by gas a little bit, but mostly you see your most of the gas. When you can go, go up, yeah. and you need to get a power right. The fuel will burn and it become a power and push down. When you push down, you will seal much yeah. as, as much as you can, so you can produce the pressure and the push down. And on the third is the oil ring to seal. The, the bottom we have an engine oil right? Yeah. Engine or when you the engine is moving, yeah. the engine oil will square up to lubricate the, yes. the, the cylinder. So the, on the third. Or it's called all your ring to see your button. So when you're moving down, you will keep the engine oil on the button. Okay? Yeah, yeah. If you not really understand on the name on the, on the workshop, yeah, because yeah, um, we have a, a clinical assessment you need to dismantle the engine block yeah. and you can, you need to measure the piston ring. Uh -huh. And you will know I will show you again. Okay. Yeah. And what is this? Electrical. Yeah, okay. This is a camshaft. The loop will push up the rocker arm. Right? Yeah. And then you have in the uh in the valve, exhaust valve. So like on every time you when you change the hydroxide. Hey, yeah. yeah. So why they say like uh, we have to uh, this machine? machine? Yeah, machine we have to the head. Yeah, grind the wall. Yes, why? Because of uh, so they didn't fit it properly, like they said. Uh, sometimes you can say, but because when we rebuild, rebuild engine, we must take out the cylinder head, right? Yeah. But sometimes it's a piston problem. Sometimes just head gets keep problem. But because we already removed the head, so we'll check the cylinder head. We'll check the inlay, outlay as well. We will send to the specialized. They will machine the face. They will check all the valve. Because inside the valve, they have the steam seal. They have a plastic seal yeah. in the top. Yeah. If layer one is faulty, the, it might cause the black smoke. That smoke comes from the exhaust pipe. So anyway, so when we do an engine review, we, we will remove the cylinder head and we will do the oil review at the top because it's easier we do this time. And we just uh, grind the whole engine block? Uh, Sometimes me too, so no, not me. Because of rust maybe? Mm. It depends, depends on the situation, but most, most of the time I think 100% you will, we, will, we will review the cylinder head. Like, in uh, my workshop, normally we send to specialized, some specialized. They will clean and machine the cylinder head, and also they check all the valve and change the steam seal and the machine the valve the valve face. Like you said, sometimes it didn't seal properly. Yeah. 
Yeah, by the, the, the special and mechanic, you will check. So normally, we send out to the specialized one scene the head and the parts will cost around 600 to 1000, roughly, roughly, depends on miracle. And so, and after we put everything back, we rebuild engine or cost roughly cost around 3 grand to 5 grand, depends on vehicle and the parts. Yeah. Yeah, so it's cost a lot of time. Mm -hmm. okay. Some of them is quite easy, like a Toyota Camry 2000 model, yeah. it's quite easy. Holden Astra, quite easy. Yeah, they always hold, have a bronze uh, head gas key. And the reason I want to show you a picture, I want to explain because for some situation, the camshaft was snapped or rock of arm, rock of cover arm, this is the arm, the, the this blue arm, yeah. arm, it was broken. So how you, you think about it, what will happen if the, this arm broken? It will not work properly to on the timing when the inlet come and exhaust come. Yeah. It will not work and the engine will start but it will not work properly. Yeah, you, sound. you will feel the engine shake, shake and too much, yeah. the engine run very rough and second one you will hear noisy, very very loud noise. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you are thinking mm, something wrong with this one. Yeah. But how do you diagnose it? It might be, it just, the, because most of the time, you, like I said, run rough, run rough or you hear noisy, yeah. but maybe it's you, you put the wrong fuel into your tank, someone will put the wrong fuel into that tank. Then mix the fuel, these all papers mix together, yeah. cause the same problem, but run very rough yeah. and noisy. Or maybe sometimes the mass sensor is faulty, the air ratio is not correct, also cause the same symptom, run rough, shaking. Yeah. So how do you diagnose that? We will talk about it later. How do you properly use the test kit? Conversion test and this test. Okay, um, so I roughly list some possible situations you will make in the future in the workshop. When the customer or your vehicle, your boss say, Oh, this engine run rough. You might be this engine problem. Might be. Right. I will say that might be. Why? Like I said, the intake valve or exhaust valve, they cannot close properly. They stuck open or they bent already, so the, the compression is very low. They will run rough. Got it? Yeah. But my, maybe like I said, like I said, some of the sensor, like a mass sensor, it is faulty. So air ratio is not mixed. Uh, it's not mixed good. properly. Yeah. Or like electrical body problem, mm -hmm. need to do cut caliber. Yeah. Okay. Total body wall is not yes. opening properly. Like yes. That. Okay. Now stop. When the vehicle cannot stop, most of the time we think about. We check the battery. Yes, good. And uh, starter? Start motor, yeah, starter motor is not working. Yes, okay. most of the time that is true, right? Yeah. Sometimes it's like a immobilized body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because of the it, because the, it didn't send the sensor yeah. to the network and it didn't operate properly. Yes, but in some situation, maybe the Crankshaft sees. Crank, crank is not cranking. Not cranking properly, I think. The seized sees is not moving. not moving. So when you start trying to crank the, crank the start, it only, you can hear one tick. Um, tick. But normally we can hear twice or three sounds, like dun 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 dun. Yeah. But you only can hear tick. It means crank is not moving. Not moving. But even if we, we, we put the like we jump start, yeah, yeah. and even we put a new starter, same. And in this time, we may be seeing maybe the crane shaft sees the inside how, engine. How this can cause crane shaft sees happen? Like, okay. Yeah. For the reason? The, the reason is the, the crane shaft broken. Okay. Crane shaft broken. But it's very hard to find if the crane shaft is broken, but it's the main, like, very heavy part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, sometimes like a racing car. Yeah, or, or the engine lack of 
engine or your fuel yeah. you know, or your inside, no location, mm -hmm. everything yeah. is damage inside. Yeah. So it it broke it. the pistons roll as well. Yeah, all the timing bell snap. Yeah. Yeah. Timing bell snap. Yeah. So the, the top one can be shot. And the, the bottom of the piston wheel really, they hit together. Yeah. In that moment, they, you cannot yeah. move anymore. They have too much press. So like, no, no, because the, the inlet valve or exhaust valve they hit the piston already. Yeah. One or two they hit together, so they cannot move already. So they, the, the crankshaft cannot move. Even you start up, you try to start the engine, yeah. the start, starter cannot turn the flywheel because it hit seats already. Yeah. Do you know in our workshop there is a Audi Q7 outside? Yes, yes. The one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same yeah, problem. Same. Hmm? same problem. We suspect it's a crankshaft seats. And how do you diagnose it? What is the reason for that car? Hmm? What is the reason for that car because of the uh, Not sure, not sure. We haven't do anything about it. We just try to stop no, it. Because, it. because no, we don't have the time to diagnose it. Yeah. yeah. So next week, next time we go to workshop, we might be to go check. Okay? Okay, engine noisy. This is a co common problem. Engine noisy is like you said from the body, but it can be hmm? from the intake and yeah, yeah. Well. yeah. Um, so when the customer say that engine noisy, you first want you to locate where the noise is come from. Maybe it's rocker cover, yeah. engine block, or for your sound. Oh, yeah. So you can use a diagnostic tool to detect where the noise come from, right? And second, I want, I want to talk about the engine noise is sometimes like a, it's a wrong, wrong fuel or like air, air ratio is bad yeah. or EGR valve block EGR is quite difficult or we talk about it maybe in the future so but maybe like I say it's rocker, rocker cover rock arm broken or the piston snap or piston ring is snap and there's just one part drop into the button and you can hear the noise because the engine is still running and the parts keep moving moving and vice you can hear very very loud okay Overheat, okay. Overheat is the same. Overheat is the same. Yeah, but it's like inside engine we have a head gas key. Head gas key. So if you have head gas body, if you have gas key, you will cause coolant will be loss. Or coolant will loss and cause of engine overheat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Loose power. Loose power. You said what is the compression ring for? If a compression ring is worn out, mm -hmm. so the inside the chamber they cannot seal properly. The, you will lose the pressure. You will lose the power. Yeah. So in that time, you need to rebuild the whole engine. But, but uh, because of this uh, brake, no, clutch plate also, we lose uh, power, right? If the clutch plate is blown out or clutch plate is going, is be becoming like uh, it's already been like used up a lot of lot of its uh, the, the resistance. Yes. We lose power, right? Yeah, because yeah. Of cross yeah, but that's why I say it might be some re other problem will cause lose power. Mm -hmm. But I just tell you, sometimes it's inside damage, sometimes it's outside component. For now, normally, because when I used to do a like, new bike as well, yeah. when we used to do stones, mm -hmm. the cross plate goes burning, 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 yes. and where the cross plate is very low yeah and we can and we can't try anymore yeah yeah so how do you diagnose it you have to think about it maybe we can discuss a little bit yeah. later on okay. okay engine light arm this one is quite common right yeah. from anywhere like any sensor, any sensor to the engine yeah. Yeah. but sometimes it may be release engine you know, damage okay yeah. sometimes for a engine light arm we need to spend more time you need to hand play the wrong way for the scan tool. Yeah, we, okay. we check the code first, code generated from here. Yeah. yeah. For my experience, my, for a modern car, they allow the dash control unit, allow the solar noise, allow the sensor inside your engine, right? Yeah. Around the engine bay. Yeah. So every time when the car comes in, they have some problem, I always check engine light. If the engine light on, they give you a specific fault, fault call. We start, two minutes, we start from this first. 
we try to fix the engine light first and then we continue to other problem. Okay? But for like old model, old car, before 2000 years, there's no much electric control. They're all like pure mechanic. Yeah. So even you have an OBD computer, uh, scan tool, uh, there's no use. no use. So you need, need to know about the basic to diagnose how to how do something will cause to an engine problem. Right? But most I think for you guys, most of the time you like, deal with the car after 2005 and 2010. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you really need need to know how to use scan tool. In a workshop, your boss or you might be have a different scan yeah. tool. You need to in how this, to do that. In this uh, unit, uh, will you like show us how to, how to use OBD? Yeah, 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 I will. We have all prepared to show you maybe two or different three vehicles, like our DQ7. Yeah. We, we, we will plug in the, the scan tool. Yeah. And, uh, I use my own car and I will create a fault and okay. you guys try to see along. Okay. okay. This one is very important. It's it's easy. It's but very important. It's important because you need to know how to use your own okay. scan tool because every scan tool they a different way. Similar. But okay. everyone has like a generated code and it is the code. It's like a basic in every They one is too easy. Like you can buy you can like an eighty bus, two hundred they want they only do a basic yeah. function, function, green and erase, yeah. but I will prefer you to play around more function, oh. like electric control, yeah. like uh, for example, customer come in and air big light on, yeah. and uh, we find out all this uh, class green, do you know class green? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. the, the yeah. steering wheel, yeah. after we replace it, we need to recalibrate, we need to use scan tool, okay? This one is quite important. Okay.